Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have an amazing video for you guys today regarding the housing market right now. Check this out, rates, mortgage rates in the US climb for a second week hitting 6.32. Now they rose basically from 6. Point, I wanna say 6.12 up to 6.32. What's happening is basically the CPI report came out and the Federal Reserve is freaking out. They are going to start having some rate hikes they're thinking of a quarter point for the next three months. That is definitely going to shoot uh, most likely mortgages up, you know, uh, most likely above 7%. And it was like right at this time where people were kind of getting happy about the housing market. But no, it's looking like we might see a downturn now. For the most part, the housing market in the U.S. has been going sideways. One of the reasons is because we have super high employment right now. There's people making good money. I mean, we have the lowest unemployment um, in like 50 year, over 50 years, something like that. And right now we have better sentiment when it comes to buying a house. Uh, but yet a lot of the indicators show that, you know, we're going into bad times. So everybody is sort of like thinking, what the hell is going on? One thing that is a big, big issue is that affordability for the housing market is still way too high. Homes have not come down. I mean, we were thinking that maybe house prices were going to crash. But again, it's like so many people refinanced their properties when they were like down in the 2 to 3% level. And now... For them to sell and get into a loan of you know 6.32 or if it goes even higher where they're not going to be very motivated to do that unless they get like a ton of money for their house and then they could go in and buy something else you know the only way in my opinion that is going to really make housing prices go down is if we see massive layoffs and i don't see anything in the future that is really going to show these massive massive layoffs now uh, little by little Everything is becoming more expensive, you know, just the groceries, gas, electricity, uh, natural gas, everything is getting very, very expensive. So you can see that over time that it's going to suck more money out of people's pockets and, you know, they might start cutting down in, in certain, uh, uh, you know, fun things that they want to do, you know, basically not the necessities. The wants, not the needs is what is going to get cut. And you got to understand that some of those wants you know, people work in those companies. So if you want, like, for example, an electric bike, you might say, hey, you know what? I don't want, I don't have, you know, $1,000 for an electric bike. I'm going to hold off. That electric bike company sells less bikes and they start doing layoffs. And those people that work for that company, then they can't buy other stuff. And then it basically is a domino effect. Now, right now that's not happening. Why? Because everybody's working and people are going in and buying these bikes. People are making money. Uh, one of the reasons I believe is because, you know, the government did print out $10 trillion during coronavirus and basically gave it to people, corporations, whoever was asking for money, they got money, right? There's been some crazy stories where, you know, some unscrupulous, unscrupulous people, you know, took advantage of the system, borrowed more. And I know that IRS and that, um, and the Department of Justice is going after some of these people who cheated the, the coronavirus relief uh, system. Uh, the money that they were getting, but in general, it's it regardless. I, again, so much money was printed. There's so much money in the economy, and that's why everything is so expensive. So again, that you know, one of the reasons that Feds are trying to raise the rates is to slowly crash the economy because they need to bring everything down. They need to bring all the prices down. They are trying, you know, they're they're trying to balance on this fine line, be, you know, of like. Don't crash it too hard, but also, you know, don't let it get out of control because if inflation take goes out of control, then we just need to, the government is forced to, you know, print more money to pay the debt, which then, you know, we can't pay it back because we don't make the same tax revenue. It's all a mess. And basically we get, if we can't pay back our loans as a, as a country, then we, you know, um, then we go into default, which then makes our interest even higher. And that, eventually hits us because the Federal Reserve then has to raise interest rates even higher and higher and higher. So we're trying for that not to happen. The only thing is with this high employment, it is keeping everything really, really expensive. And housing is is a part of that. Now check this out. Um, the US house, there's another article. U.S. housing starts drop for a fifth month, longest streak since 2009. This is also a little bit on the scary side because why? We're not building homes, right? Um, 
the it's too expensive to build and what builders don't want is you know they go build a house they you know they, it costs them money uh, right now employment is more expensive materials are more expensive everything is more expensive so you go out and build this house the land is too expensive and if there's no buyers the the developer gets stuck and now they have to sell the house for you know half the price or a discount and then they lose money because remember contractors are in this to make money and especially when you're building a lot of homes like some of these pods pods right so they're they're seeing you know a big um decline in new housing starts which is going to keep the supply uh the current supply really tight because there's no new supply being added which keeps houses uh the home prices high so this is a terrible terrible industry right now just because of the high interest rates uh and 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 the high prices if property prices do drop then you could see housing start start up again because then developers are going to be able to buy those lands for cheap so again it's kind of really crappy but things are in a way are going sideways it, it almost feels like it wants to crash but it's not crashing because again like i pointed out we got super high employment people are feeling good about themselves people are working and people are spending money and as long as that happens it's going to keep everything up so i was hoping for a bigger uh, drop than what we're seeing but unfortunately i you know it's a uh, it's we still have a supply issue you know and uh, it's going to take a lot to really bring down this housing market we're going to see what is the the straw that breaks the camel's back i'm still looking for it but as of now I would even expect prices to rise slightly as we go into the summer months. It, they always rise. Now, I don't think we're going to peak what we had last year in prices here. Let me jump onto the Redfin weekly housing market data to show you. Here is the Redfin. Uh, sorry. Okay, as we jump into the graph, you could see as far as new listings, we're still way under uh, 2020 and 20, uh, 2021, 2022. And you, you could see to, uh, the blue line is 2023. If we even add 2020 to the mix, uh, again, you see the supply issue right here. We're way undersupplied. And this is one of the main reasons why we have the prices uh, as high as they are. We need more supply if we need these prices to come down. If we go over to the median sale price, which is really important, look, we've been going sideways now. Yes, we have um, raised the rates and mortgage rates will most likely continue to go up in the next few months. But Again, we're going into summer. Look at the trajectory on every summer. This blue, uh, this red line right here, this dip is coronavirus. So don't take that out of the equation. Look at these two years. We got 2021 uh, and 2022. Every time summer comes, you know, prices go up. Now, are we going to hit these all-time highs? I don't think so. But are we going to possibly go down into the 2021 20, uh, levels? I don't know. I was hoping that we we're going to see a big crash going into uh, 2023 and you know to the 2019 levels but that is not happening again layoffs is is uh you know because we don't have enough layoffs people are not you know people are still paying their mortgage right the delinquencies are not up they're average so that is the problem right now so check this out i don't know but right now is probably if you are looking to get into the market i know that the mortgage rates are a little bit more expensive but if prices are expected to go up during the summer months, you know, this price difference could, you know, you just got to talk to your accountant. You got to see what your finances are. Don't ever buy anything more expensive than what you can afford. But again, getting into a property is a, is, is a great investment. You just, and it, you know, unfortunately, it's incredibly hard to time, right? Uh, one thing I could just tell you is that obviously buying in the winter months, you're going to get a better deal. But unfortunately, nobody likes buying in the winter. Why? If you have kids, you don't want to take them out of school. It's just such a pain in the ass. If you're living up north where it snows, that's even worse. Like who wants to, you know, get a moving truck when it's snowing outside? It's just awful. People like to move in the summer and that's why prices go up in the summer. I just, again, I can't stress that in, stress enough that affordability is becoming a huge, huge problem. Let's see how the curve works now. You know, as the summer months, he, uh, come and interest rates also rise let's see if uh if this trajectory is going to follow last year or if it's going to dip down into you know the 2021 levels i'm hoping that it drops because you know as a i am a homeowner but i am trying to um, buy more properties 
because I want to expand my portfolio. So I really need those prices to come down. Another good thing is that rent is high right now, which is uh, which is crazy. Rent is high. Everything is high. But yet people are still spending. So let's see how it, this all uh, pans out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish this video. I want to just say thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys do like my videos, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and go ahead and like and leave a comment. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video.